Kinematics experiments often call for objects that run at constant speeds or have constant accelerations. The trouble is, it is difficult to find equipment that can give repeatable data. The constant velocity and pullback cars solve this common problem. The constant velocity car runs with a steady speed that makes it easy for students to analyze this type of motion. The motor can also be varied so that the car can run at two different speeds. The car normally runs on two C batteries. To change the speed, the batteries can be replaced with double A's, or one battery can be removed and replaced with a jumper. This will reduce the current and the speed. Use this car with a motion detector and a computer data logger to easily be able to collect, graph, and analyze data. Spark timers can also be used to collect similar data. I'm going to connect the spark timer to the car. Let's watch the motion. By using the spark timer, students will be able to observe the even pattern of dots that illustrate constant velocity. The car can also be made to turn in a circle so that students can analyze centripetal acceleration. Tie one end of a string to the windshield of the car and the other end to a stationary pole. Students can explore uniform circular motion. The pullback car runs on a spring that produces its constant acceleration. And this can be a difficult concept for students to understand. When they graph the motion of this car, they'll be able to see its velocity increases at a constant rate. The acceleration of the car can be varied by adding mass. Students will be able to see that the added mass decreases the acceleration. Students can devise their own experiments to calculate the maximum speed or accelerations of these cars. They can then compare their calculated values to the top speeds and accelerations of real cars. These cars help students understand the concepts of constant velocity and constant acceleration. It doesn't hurt that they're fun to play with, too. They're the kind of thing that makes science fun.